Hello, what's happening? What's up, Balls McGee, Jinx, Pocknock, Reed, Johnny Arco, Gruberbot. Hope we're all having an amazing and wonderful Friday. Dabbit and Esquire. Right, it's been a little bit since we played some Isaac. Thought we'd do a few runs tonight. What's up, Master A. Wong? Grumpy Old G. Mike Marin. As a reminder, we have Cooking with Frag after the show tonight. Bacon Wrap Stuff Meatloaf. Is gonna be good. All right, enjoy your lurk, Phoenix. So you have migraine, dude. I get a migraine like a couple times a year. Sucks a lemon. Okay, so this spacebar item gives me basically one bomb per room. So we should be able to find our secret and super secret if I'm not playing stupid. Keep it. Dapper. Mescalitos, thank you for keeping it dapper, sir. Appreciate the 26 consecutive months. What a legend. I just noticed that we also have a uh, demon baby. That's pretty cool. Get out of jail free card. Okay. Keep it dapper. Globerbot, thank you for keeping it dapper. Appreciate the 29 consecutive months, sir. Much love. Jeremy Dwayne, thank you for the five consecutive months. And Demarkin. Thank you for the seven consecutive Keep months. My goodness. I can feel the love. What's up, Psychotic Ninja? So we have decent fire rate. Uh, three damage, apparently. That's nice. Speed's not where I'd like it to be, but it's not gonna... Shouldn't affect the run all that much. There we go. Alright, let's check here for the uh, Seeker Room. What's up, Oakless? Welcome back, sir. Uh, that should be good enough. No secret room there. Fair enough. Good evening, Wunny Woodle Pook. How are you? Um, that is piercing shots. Yes, and speed up. Okay, cool. That's that's great. The last thing we're really missing here is like some range. Oh, that was my fault. Hundo percent. Huh. Well, I'm gonna check here. Cool, playmaker. Good to know. Thanks for the heads up. What's up, Pixel Feud and Gwydion? How is the uh, gain to voice volume for everybody today? Interesting room. Hmm. See green up there, must be a champion. Seems spot on, awesome. Can I hit him from here? Oh, I can. Okay. I get it. Well, that's actually good if it spawns in the center. When I clear the room, we can actually get the award. Good old burning basement. There it is. All right, we're going to try the uh, thing here. Oh, I already blew up a wall there. Never mind. What's up, Grizzinch? So far, so good, Jamie Allegro. Alright, what's in her? Well, I mean, Piercing Shot Parasite is pretty damn good, right? I mean, we could get multiple rerolls here by using the the TNT barrel, but what are we going to get better than uh, Parasite here? I can't really think of much other than like a large damage up. There's a lot of crap items in the pool, so let's go ahead and just take that. Because Piercing Shot's awesome, and so is Parasite. 
Huh, where is our secret room going to be? There it is. Okay, we got three guys with coin eyes, so we should definitely blow those up for money. Yeah, I could end up getting Butterbean or just some item I can't take. Parasite's pretty much guaranteed damage. I know, with any lucky, we're going to actually check our store, and we may want to. That's tough. Do we want to check the store? Or we want to save our one key. I'm gonna say with 13 coins, we're gonna save our one key. No, we gotta check. So we can bomb the coin, uh, the coin machine to get what we want. Could be BFF or something else amazing. Mom's key. Half off fanny packs, pretty solid too. I might as well buy the soul heart as well. Two coins, huh? All right. It was definitely worth it. What's happening, Pezzer? Alright, famine won't be terrible here. This is not a fun famine room, but hey. Get Recaroni pizza, son. DC100, thank you for keeping it tab. Appreciate the 28 consecutive months. Much love, dude. Yeah, I agreed. Piercing Parasite. Wow, we had back to back uh, little baby rooms. Thank you, Cube of Meat. All right, before we take the health up, we're gonna check in here. Hmm, ouch. Well, it was nice knowing you, TNT. Ooh, there was a coin in there. Yeah, nice, Pezzer. Auto, auto pathing's good. Doing great, Dallin Wong. Do, 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 do. All right. D7. I think that rerolls a room. Hmm, okay. Well, handy that this is a movable barrel because we can at least get these coins. Actually, that will work. There it is. What's up, Deimos? <laughs> I just realized I, like, effectively trapped myself here. Unless I can somehow... Oh, I can't hit that. Good. I mean, I could use a bomb here, but... Hey. Piercing Parasite. So freaking good. If we end up getting guppy with this, the fly spawns will be freaking real. Kujio, thank you for keeping it tamper. Appreciate the 28 consecutive months. Much love. Much love. Okay, I can have them blow this up for me, which is what I'm going to try to do here. Come on, guy. No? Okay. I will use a bomb then. Lurker life indeed, Hexed. Long live the Lurker. Keep it Grudge, 135. Thank you for keeping it tab. Appreciate the 24 consecutive months. Much love. 
Um, I suppose you could, Lemming, but you'd have to push the, uh, push the barrel out there before that happens, so it'd kind of be your own fault if you stuck yourself. I know there was a room in, uh, Rebirth where you had to have bombs to proceed, but I don't think that room's in the game anymore. Two frickin' years indeed. Thank you for the great 24 months, sir. Do, do. Keep it Henry, dapper. thank you for keeping it damper. Appreciate these six consecutive months, sir. Much love. Much love. Right, my range is pretty bad right now. Just EU servers, Pi Dash. I've had several, we have several guildies and viewers that play on uh, Oceanic with no problems. Or play from the Oceanic region. Very nice, Grudge. Very nice. Ooh, okay. Fallen's awesome to find here. Well, I disagree. Succubus? Yes. Hmm. I think I'm going to have to take the Satanic Bible here. I don't really want to, but I think it's a good choice. It's guaranteed health generation. Lose a little bit of damage, but every battery you find is now a black heart. That's pretty huge. Keep it dapper. Rabby, 654, thank you for keeping it dapper. Appreciate the six consecutive months. And Slighted, thank you for the two consecutive months. Much love, guys. Much love. Keep it dapper. The so Succubus not only does damage uh, inside that aura, if I'm standing inside the aura, I get uh, tier damage up as well. Pretty nice item overall. Uh, no. Mm. Alright, secret room location. Looks like it's going to be here. Thank you for the host, Sinvicta. How was your show today, man? <laughs> Alright, I also might as well check the store again, because now BFF becomes even better. I'll take the Soul Heart. And we'll bomb once here. Because battery is another free soul heart. We do want to be, uh, we do want to be at five coins going to the next floor so we can get a uh, chance at an arcade. But health situation is much better now. Thanks, sir. What a cutie kitty. Do. Keep it dapper. Baromir, thank you for keeping it dapper. Appreciate the 10 consecutive months, dude. Much love, man. Much love. It's a pretty good room to use bombs in to check for magic mush, but uh, yeah, I feel like the build's sorted out pretty good right now. There's that arcade I was kind of hoping for. And a dime drop. What do we got going on in here? All right. All right. Not going to check the spike room just yet. Soon. <laughs> like, a couple of range ups would just change my life right now. Okay. Okay. 
That's pretty good. So we have fanny pack and uh, and piggy bank. So we're gonna be dropping coins and items on taking damage. So if I have extra health at the end of this floor, we definitely want to use the arcade. Stop imploding muffins. It's a bit of a weird build. I like it though. Keep it dapper. No side effects. Thank you for keeping it dapper. Appreciate these 16 consecutive months. Much love. So many resubs tonight, indeed. Appreciate you guys. Thanks for making this show possible with your time and support. It means the world. I'm really surprised he hasn't spit at me yet. There we go. Just had to say something. Woo! Show me the money. Uh, SS, I would say that would be not always true, but there are certain room layouts that you can definitely look at and basically know that the secret room is going to be at that location. But if bombs drop more often oh, in secret room locations, down. I have not noticed that. But you could be absolutely right. Alright, Bossom's time. Blarbicus, thank you for keeping it dab. Appreciate the 17 consecutive months. Much love. The get out of jail free card will open any door in the game, including the Mega Satan door. Didn't I start with this item? No, I guess not. And it's actually uh, it's actually good that we end up getting a heart here, because then we can use the blood bank more effectively. Know what split shot and quickest buy looks like? It looks like awesome. It's a really great combo. Mm. Okay, going this way. Woo! Yeah, I saw that coming. That's okay. Well, it's a near certainty we're gonna gamble here. Yeah, I don't want to do that in case. Let's check out. Let's check out these chests, huh? Check it out. I don't know if I'd call that worth, but I did it. Key for a key, might as well. Chance for a coin, and we'll go ahead and go key for a battery here. What's up, Arrow Yali? Alright, let's check in here. What do we got going on? Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, okay. We're still gonna gamble a bit, but I mean, that is pretty spectacular. What a deal. I was gonna say I need a damage up or two, and uh, there they are. Let's gamble on the slot machine to go for uh, orbitals here. The only thing we're really missing right now is maybe a little bit of tier eight and some range, but uh, both of those we can do without. The Satanic Bible definitely just paid for itself. Sick deals, Mr. Stan. Keep it dapper. Lysnish, thank you for keeping it dapper. Appreciate the four consecutive months. Much love, dude. Much love. MTG Gamer, thank you for keeping it dapper. Appreciate the four Keep consecutive months dapper. as well. Do, 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 
All right, sweet. We got three orbitals now. Awesome. Let's see if we can get a couple resources here. Maybe a bomb or so. A couple bombs. Nice work, Blabricus. Nice work. Fragon is an arcade, he never returns. Hey man, gambling's an important part of the game, okay? God Sizer, thank you for keeping it dapper. Appreciate the eight consecutive months, sir. Much love, man. All right, that's where this journey ends. Yeah, I hear you there. Soon you won't have time for me, MTG, and that's okay. All right, that was worth a bomb. All right, definitely not doing the combat tier room. Caves 2, bloody combat room can have Red Maw as one of the bosses, and he is a nightmare. Keep it Wily Coyote, thank you for keeping it damper. Appreciate the 23 consecutive months, sir. Much love. Going down. Good starting items for the lost. Um, it's a tough one, man. I'll say any good stat up or damage up, I'd take. Oh, shenanigans. What's up, Hugo? Okay, we got two keys to get in there. We don't need to yet. We may actually be able to bomb in there, so. Do want. Alright, we're gonna walk in and out of this room until one of the rocks explode. Anytime there's a thing on a pedestal, one of the rocks can break. So rather than use a bomb here, we'll try to get the rock to break. Unless they finally patch that. I have no idea. I doubt it. Been an issue since, since release. How do I call it an issue? All right, we'll use a bomb then. What's happening, Harry? So this counts as a fourth orbital, and if I take damage, this is a uh, this is a real boss slayer of an item. Does very good damage. Okay, we're not bombing in there. We gotta look. Three room does what? Yeah, it's not a bug, it's a feature. There you go. Rerolls all pickup items on current floor D20 style. Yeah, the brains challenge really does require a pretty heavy amount of patience. All right, we go down here first because the next room gives us two charges on our book. And it's about to be charged. Ooh, that's a good item. So I believe the trinket works the same way that the old bloodlust works. More damage, the more stuff you kill per room. what I would give for a destruction rune right now. Fair enough. What's up, random foot? Okay, beggarman. Arcade machine. Now, I do have to keep in mind that I can spawn stuff on the floor with the, uh, the sole purpose of using the three room later is definitely a thing. So I may want to gamble there just to try to reach that purpose, or I can also, uh, well, I can't bomb the, woo, the store that much, but I can make it work. All right, gonna leave that there and check in here. Not greed's nice. Um, do, do we have a Pandora command? 
What's up, Ivan? Depths one, four soul hearts. I mean, four soul hearts is good here. Or I could just use it for reroll purposes. Let's fight our boss and see what's up. Brownies, what's up? But I have succubus, so it doesn't even matter. Um. Maybe I can get a heart in the poopsie ears. Maybe. Maybe not. Ooh, I did. Awesome. So filling that heart container means there will actually be a red heart pedestal deal. Um, Just for the sake of not having red hearts, I'm going to take that. This is Eden, I call it. I shouldn't have touched those. Okay. Okay. Okay, we definitely want to check out and find our secret room, wherever it may be. Because I got a D20 reroll on the floor. Check here. Okay. Okay. Gonna leave those there, then we're gonna gamble on this feller. Our curve stream yet noted. So that worked out really good. Okay, let's see here. We have not checked our curse stream yet. Noted. So that worked out really good. So very definitely a temptation to pick up those soul hearts, but uh, I'm not going to. What we're gonna do is use go into our. Uh, Spike room here, and then I'm going to use the three room reroll to un do everything I can. We're also going to do the combat room here for sure. Fair enough. Do do do. Do 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 do. Do, 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 do. <laughs> yeah, I guess the coins would have been better to reroll. It's a fair point. Uh, the spikes going in and out of the spike room do a half heart. Uh, regular spikes will do a whole heart. Good question. Wap worm. I don't know. That might be worth. I think that might be worse since my range is so bad. Let's go. Let's go ahead and do that. I could spawn more stuff, but I think we're good here. The whipworm greatly increases your shot speed, though so therefore slightly increases your range. It makes your tears get from point A to point B much faster. Moon card, okay. Legit. Do, 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 do. 
You're not invisible, Zethel. Hey! Remember what I asked for before? I said one destruction rune. One time with the destruction rune. Of course, everything that's spawned is on the islands, huh? Two of spades, never mind, that's good. Uh, the three room rerolls anything on the floor that's not a pedestal item, so like bombs, keys, hearts, coins, pills, cards, so on and so forth. All right, going down. Good floor. Maybe. Greetings, Tracer. Yeah, I'm gonna say Whipworm was definitely the right choice here. Most certainly. Okay, if we do get a teleporting card in this situation, we can get out of the mom fight and back to the arcade with the Polaroid shield. That's a bit of a long shot, but our damage is there. We have a uh, pentagram, mark, Succubus for our damage ups, and we started with really great base damage on this Eden run. Much better than average. Thank you, Orbitals. Now, let's see what kind of arcade we got here. The bad kind. A golden poopy. Nah. I mean, we could do some min-maxing on leaving all the coins on the floor, then coming back for the counterfeit penny, but forget that. Mine bullets. What's happening? A good feeling it was there and it was strength card not what I was looking for looking for a teleporting card game you know that you know that don't be a hater Okay, guillotine, my least favesy item. Okay, I do not appreciate or like guillotine. However, this gives us a really spectacular defense with the four orbitals and guillotine. I mean, the defense is all there. And we do pretty amazing touch damage. The trick with this one is to look at the body and not look at the head. I find that I've always found this item to be extremely disorienting, but it's not so bad if you only focus on the body. Your brain figures it out better that way. Though I, I like it better now than I used to. Because just the body can take damage. So my body is pretty much encapsulated by some really great orbitals. Yeah, it's an objectively great item that's not fun to use, for me anyways. Though I, I like it better now than I used to. Because like before I used to try to stare at the head, and then if you try to stare at the head you end up becoming really disoriented, and uh, it's not fun.
And no, it's not easy to follow the body, especially with the orbitals on. Alright, so we're not going to get to teleport out, back out, and use the arcade, but there was no blood machine there anyway, so this is a null point. Could go for soul hearts there, we're full up. Yeah, two keys for a key indeed. Isaac! Mom, quick question. Quick question. Why are you blue, Mom? Polaroid and... Yeah, whatever. Let's do it. Missing page number two and... Ma of the Void! Okay, we got flying now, which is super great. Also got that happening, which is also super great. Do, 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 do. Jacob Barajas, uh, thank you for keeping it dapper. Appreciate the two consecutive months. Much love. My body is just floating spaghetti. Yeah, pretty much. Balls. The nicest part about Ma of the Void, other than the great damage it does, is it has a chance to spawn uh, evil hearts when you kill stuff. Life is great, Turd Nugget. How you been, sir? Oh, I touched him. Whoops. Oh, I'm sorry, Winch. I spoopied you. Because reasons, stealth. Because reasons. Doo, doo, doo. Whoa, that's a bomb. Never take your eye off the prize. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Yeah, that's right, Neo. That's right. That was totally a personal attack. Nailed it. Hey, thanks for the double black arts. Man, I really wish this build didn't have guillotine. That's all I'm saying. It's going to be just fine, but... I'd be enjoying it more if there was no guillotine. Do, 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 do. Keep it dapper. Destin, uh, thank you for keeping it dapper. Appreciate the four consecutive months. Much love. Much love. Yeah, Kyle the Walk. Guillotine. Exactly, you nailed it. Alright, there's that range up I was looking for. Nice. No devil deal, but okay.
<laughs> exactly, Faden. Exactly. All right, so our fire rate and range is amazing right now. Ha, and what a shitty room indeed, Wayside. Nailed it, sir. Nailed it. This build is so cool. Oh, Awful monger, yeah. thank you for keeping it dapper. Appreciate the 21 consecutive months. Much love. Satine got for me today. He's got Krampus. That's fine. Whoa. Well, Cole is really amazing with this build. Yes, please. Not only additional damage to my piercing tiers, but additional damage to the uh, side tiers as well. Legit. Going up. Get Recaroni Pizza. What a fun build. Other than the guillotine. Dude. Hey, like instant boss room. Nice. I like it a lot. This is not a streak, Sneaky Emu. I guess if it was, we'd be at one. Ow! Rude. All right. All right. We got them. Jeepers creepers, would you take a look at that peeper? Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's old school bloodlust. I mean, is there any reason we shouldn't go kill Mega Satan here? I mean, let's do it. Look at that lusty blood. The damage is all there, baby. It's all there. Look at that lusty blood. 
This is going to be a good fight for me and not such a good fight for you, bud. Oh, I'm sad no black hearts dropped there. Whoa, the wowza. Actually, getting hit was good because now we get the, uh, the super gold fly. Whoa. Okay, you can get to the Mega Satan fight a couple ways. The first way is by uh, getting God Rooms by turning down Satan Rooms and then bombing the Angel Statues to get two key pieces to make the key for the Mega Satan door. The second way is to get a Get Out of Jail free card like I did and then pop it in front of the Mega Satan door. <laughs> you dead, son. GG! Get wrecked, Mega Satan. GG, we got there. And we're off. All right, red candle, not very good uh, damage or fire. Oh, these could be worse, could be worse. Only two solars. Actually, the red candle's a pretty uh, great item. I just had to remember to use it effectively. Capricorn, sick. Sick. Uh, the red candle does slightly less damage to my knowledge, but it does leave the flame on the floor. Whereas the blue one does not. Three bombs, okay. What a wild and crazy guy. Uh, maybe. Doo -doo 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 -doo. No, that fire won't hurt you. You can get it confused with the other fires, right? But uh, that fire will not hurt your character.
Holy bombs, Batman. All right, let's fight our boss and see what's up. The magic scab. It's lucky. My lucky scab. You could say it was friendly fire. You could. You could, Awful, if you really wanted to. If you really wanted to, you could. Yep, huge item versus Duke of Flies for sure. Oh, there's a dark rock right there. Would you look at that? And a couple jerkaroni pizzas. I don't know what's causing so many bombs to drop, but I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. Oh, don't, don't, don't. There we go. Um, I think out of the options for using a key here, I want to use it on the gold chest rather than the store. Uh, mistakes were made. Oh, I do have bomb bag. Well, that makes so much more sense. Curse of the blind. Well, it gave us guillotine last time, so how bad could it get, right? Dude. I disagree. I disagree. Oof. Taste the sizzle. Be the sizzle. We've got no key for our item room yet, unfortunately. Do, do. Holy, this is a room that was made for the candle. Two soul arts is cool. Ba -da -da -da, da -da -da -da. We can do a double timberance machine here too, and I probably will. Drop a key. Uh, battery, alright. I should have known that gold chest was going to do that to me. Okay, actually, the locket, I believe, heals you when you open chests. If I get any chests to drop here, I should probably save them for using the Timberance machines. What's in the bag? Not a key. Okay. Who's the boss? You know, I should have done the uh, the gambling first because we're probably going to get a devil deal here. And when we do, we're going to have to spend our hearts and then we'll have nothing left for the uh, temperance machines. Shame. Rotten baby. Nice. Cambion Conception. I believe Cambion Conception is taking damage. Ooh, tears up too. Take damage to spawn uh, to spawn stuff. So we're in no position to uh, to do that. In fact, let's go ahead and blow up this Temperance machine. 
word. Do want a key. Do want. You know, the soy milk's not as bad as it gets, uh, not as the rap it has. I don't think it's actually that terrible. Okay, it looks like our secret room could be either next to, next to the item room or next to the store. No? Not too many other places it can be here. I guess on the edge of this one's probably where it is. Yeah. I'm gonna take a off chance here and see if the super secret's there. Of course not. All right, so we didn't get a key for our item room, but I do think our build improved enough on this floor to be all right. Probably check for the super secret here just in case. Fresh green beans are a really nice product and cooked well. I agree, man. Do, 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 do. Huh. It's gotta be in the next room over, but... Alrighty, we're out of here. See you later, Curse of the Blind. Do, 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 do. Look at this little baby kitty behind me. What a cutie kitty. Get that paw clean, Winston. Curse of the maze. Amazing. Ha, ha, ha. I went there. Ba -da 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 -da. Afterbirth came out in Oct. No. Yes. Rebirth came out in October, and then Afterbirth, and I'm in. I don't even remember. Wasn't it Rebirth was in October, and then uh, Afterbirth came a few months after that? Keep it dapper. You don't get it? That's okay. It's okay if you don't get it. Don't worry about it too much. Sir Regular, thank you for keeping it dapper. Appreciate the three consecutive months. Much love, dude. Much love. Okay, After Earth came out on October 30th. There we go. Can't say I have too many suggestions from that. I didn't own very many games for my PlayStation Zero. Sorry, disappoint. The stars. Ooh, yes, I will take tech one. Eye lasers. Pew, 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 pew. Uh, BDOB night eyes or exclaim guide for YouTube videos. BDOB is the um, Black Desert Online Bible command. So, like, the Red Candle has a lot less uses now, but it definitely has some. Hey, what's up, my man Raid? I hear you, dude. I'm surprised I haven't taken damage today. Alright, Caves 1. Let's do it. Stain Arena. You're a stain on this family. Oh, did you taste the sizzle? I think you did. I will gladly take caffeine pills, because that's a speed up. Whoa there, Isaac. How many shots of espresso have you had today? 17? Damn. Drink some water and lay down. Fair enough, Cranky Old Gnome. On a good note, the game's not going anywhere. I'm still enjoying the hell out of Black Desert Online. But definitely reached a point where we're playing a little bit slower now, which is nice. What's up, Kodanuki? 
Well then, um... Keep it dapper. Yes. Black feather is pretty good. Go see if we can manufacture some money before bombing the machine. So this room didn't move, so I'm going to assume that the secret room's there. Assumption correct. Hey! Loads of money! Make it loads of money. I will kill you, game. That's good. Keep it Sugar smackums. Thanks for keeping it dapper, dude. Appreciate these six consecutive months, man. Much love. Good old sugar smackums. Lebanese mutation. Thank you for keeping it dapper. Appreciate the two consecutive months as well. And as always, thank you for bringing the P.E.K.K.A. with you. You damn legend. Neo Mort, thank you for keeping it tab. Appreciate the 11 consecutive months. It's just beautiful. All right, that's pretty good. All right, guys, before we head on down to the next floor, I'm going to use the restroom real quick. We'll be right back. Okay, we got blank card, Tempers machine. That's pretty cool, I guess. Of course, there are much better things we can get with the blank card, but... Curse of the Unknown. Well, great. Beep, 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 beep. Do, 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 do. What's up, Molio? How you doing? Hope you're having a spectacular and wonderful day, sirs. Yes, I would like that. Oh, in the free secret room. Ooh. Gotta check this out. Keep it. 
Sergeant Cortez, thank you for keeping it damper. Appreciate these six consecutive months. Much love, dude. Much love. Okay. Okay. Yeah, cheers. I go always be in the rotation somewhere. <laughs> That's about fair. I love playing this game. I just don't love playing this game every day. It goes with most games. Let's check this out. Shoop the whoop. Well, thank you for the great six months, Sergeant Cortez. You have been here for a lot longer than that. I know. Never forget. You know, I haven't uh, been playing Archangel. I'm not sure if I want to drop money on the Hearthstone expansion or not. I'm leaning towards no, because I just haven't played in like a month and a half. I mean, standard seems really cool. New sets are always fun, but... I don't know if uh, my time investment for spending money would be worth it in that case. Definitely going to give the new cards a look and stuff and see how I feel, but... I'm, I'm honestly leaning towards no. Okay, so now that we know we have a... Soul Heart in the store, we can do some pretty cool stuff here. Uh, we also have a battery in the store. I can basically spawn a very large amount of blood machines, knowing that we're going to get about five coins back from running into them all. We'll definitely get more than five back for every two hits we do. So even we have Curse of the Unknown, we're going to be at net gain for health here. For Shurzies. Thank you, piercing shot. Random 2007, thank you for keeping it dapper. Appreciate the 10 consecutive months. Much love. I think Cole's just straight up upgrade with tech. All right, guys, but here's the deal. I know I've only been streaming for an hour and eight minutes, but I need to take my food break now. We have Cooking with Frag, uh, bacon wrap stuffed meatloaf after the show. So I basically didn't eat dinner today since our kitchen is set up for Cooking with Frag. So I'm going to take my food break now. I'll take, eat as quickly as I can. Be about uh, eight minutes or so. We'll come back. We're going to rock out this run. We're going to do some really cool stuff with the Temperance Machine blank card here. We also have restock, so we can do... I think we can generate pretty much infinite money, so how about when we come back, we break the damn game? I don't see any reason that we can't break the game here. Even with Curse of the Unknown, it should be fine. It should be no problem to break. Yeah, when we come back, we're going to break the game. So we will be back in about eight minutes. I'm not, well, I'm not going to run any ads for this break. We're just going to chill out. And, uh, yeah, cooking with Frag after the show in about four hours here. Or five. We'll see. Be right back.
Alrighty, who's ready for some game breaking? Okay, we gotta think out how many hearts do we actually have here? Okay, so I took one heart of damage there. So these these keep it dapper. These three are the ones I'm hitting. The last 81. Thank you for keeping it tavern. Appreciate the six consecutive months. And Jinx 3, thank you for the five consecutive months. Okay, I got all four there. Good. Okay, so that was two hearts. We're at a slight net gain. Maybe this isn't my breaking floor. Maybe next floor is, but we'll see. We got batteries and solar. So it depends on how these machines hold out, really. Okay, so I'm going to buy three soul hearts here and know that I have three more to work with. I figured out the rotation hit all four machines, so that's good. And if we do get, uh, if we do get blood, blood bags, that's not the end of the world either. One half. Okay, one. Ah, one and a half. Okay, I know there is a coin over there, but that's okay. What I should have done was try, well, I, I spawned the Timberance machines where I needed to, but uh, if we start getting an excess, an excess amount of stuff here, we can uh, spawn them next to the store. But for now, let's get another one spawned in there too. Do loot, do do. One and a half so far. Okay, now we have IV bag. Go back and buy three soul hearts. Keep it SG down. Doc, thank you for keeping it down. I appreciate the 27 consecutive months. Much love. Oh yeah, that's right. We have Cami and Conception too. So it's going to get really sexy really quick. Doo -doo. Okay, now we're going to start spawning in front of the store. Okay. Okay, now we're going to start spawning in front of the store. Temperance. So by standing in the corner here, we get them to spawn on top of each other. Whoa there. Okay, that's one and a half. Let's go. Didn't mean to do that. That was a full heal though. So we're at two and a half, two, one and a half, one, one half. Should have been using the IV bag there too. 
Okay, let's run back and get the IV bag and we'll cheese the rest of this out. We just got a blood bag, so we have three hearts remaining now, I think. Let's double check by trying to pick up this heart. Okay, good. Okay, let's spawn three more blood banks with the blank card, and that should set us up to actually start making money now. Like, is this room better? Not really. Whoops. Keep it dapper. Gandhi loves Chachi. Thank you for keeping it dapper. Appreciate the 39 consecutive months. Much love. Alright, so we're at two and a half red hearts currently. Grab the IV bag. I, I lost track there. Let's buy let's buy a couple more soul hearts just to be safe. What? Okay, apparently I'm at full health right now, so uh good to know. Good to know. Alright, now we're in the business. Eventually we'll get black candle. Eventually. Or have it, have it work as well. All right, I'm gonna say we're at one heart now. Back to three. Two and a half, two. Walker, thank you for keeping it down. Appreciate the 11 consecutive months, sir. Much love. Sure is, Colonel Sanders. If you look below the broadcast, you can see the full list of people that have been supporting me for three plus years. It is uh, pretty impressive. I'm a very lucky guy. All right, cool. Cool. Give me that. God, that simplifies my life so much. Keep it dapper. Blue Sun, thank you for keeping it dapper. Appreciate the 33 consecutive months. Much love, dude. Guess the only thing I have to be wary of is making sure I at least have a couple soul hearts to uh, to work with here. Temperance. Now we could just start buying pills until we get full health pill as well. If it's in our pool.
Yeah, I guess since we've already got an IV bag, pretty much a guarantee we're gonna be okay here. Chariot card, okay. It's actually good. This is also very good for my build. There's the habit. Debating if I should buy batteries to try to get, like, the ideal card, though I, I mean, Chariot card with the Temperance card sets me up for success. Yeah, okay, let's do this real quick. I mean, that spawned way more than five coins, so we're, we're good now. All right, I think we're gonna go in that two by two room and spawn about 40 blood machines or so. Go ahead and go ham. Yeah, car battery actually works out really well. I'm gonna spawn two temperance machines instead of one now. Pandora's box. Go ahead and use that. Sure. Okay, PhD is pretty great. Oh, it lasts twice as long too with the uh, with the car battery. Cool. Keep it dapper. Big Wrath, thank you for keeping it dapper. Appreciate the five consecutive months. Much love. The chariot. Oh, I just used the car on accident. Hey, another one there. Nice. Alrighty. Let me off this crazy ride. Say so we're approaching critical mass here. Start down in this corner. You know, I'm not sure on that one, Gwydion. It's feeling like blow up quicker, but who knows? Okay, let me let me through though. Had to be done. Hey, look at his dark bum and succubus and little Brimmy. 
So we have a uh, Cambian Concession, which we got from a Blind Devil deal, which gives us one evil follower per set damage. These are a little more tightly packed than I would have preferred, but... Nine coins back to the store PhD yes PhD will actually make more money drop off of the uh, more money will drop out of the temperance machines because of that pretty sexy diplopia huh oh no that's okay we just lost uh, lost our cards unfortunately so I guess I kind of have to get a, well, sun card actually works out here. I don't think my cards change into pills yet. Two of diamonds, Two okay. Of diamonds. Cause what I do need here is that sun card. Well, if we do have the sun card, it's gonna be it's gonna be a okay. Okay, let's go ahead and buy this over here. Okay, they're not changing into uh, not changing into pills. That's good. Urn's definitely not ruined. Just it would have been cooler if I didn't take that. Okay, what do we got going on here? Destruction. Wheel of Fortune. The Moon. The Sun. Judgments. I'm unsure of why the why the pill bag spawned cards. Spawn cards there. It doesn't make too much sense to me. Yeah, but I took the pill baggie after the deck of cards, so shouldn't they be shouldn't they be pills instead? Or am I no longer going to have stuff turned into pills because we took the starter deck first? What a life! Chaos cards, pretty good. Man, I should have just held on to that two of diamonds. I would have done it. Okay, we can get another two of diamonds. Somewhere. Joker card, let's check it out. Oh yeah, it was Krampus. Moon card. Hermit. Two of diamonds. Okay. Okay. <laughs> If I could, like, clear this stuff out, that'd be great. 
It's all right. We'll uh, we'll forego the sun card here, but we can two of diamonds to buy the batteries. So now we have infinite money without the uh, without all the blood bank shenanigans. Sure, bum. Two of diamonds. I don't know what that is. Keep it dapper. Slappy the Ninja, thank you for keeping it tab. I appreciate the 20 consecutive months. And Big Wrath, thank you for the five consecutive months. I apologize for missing that. Um, Dead Cat would take me down to... This is actually okay. I'll take it. We got lots of uh, hearts and crap on the floor here, so no real harm done. I did not mean to use that, but okay. Oh, yeah, I get double use on that, too. I forgot about that. Curse of the Tower, I think, will pass on. Synth the Hall, for sure. Scalpel, whatever. Is that spun transformation? Maybe. Not quite. There's the flying we wanted. Where did I put the two of diamonds? There it is. Two of diamonds. All right, now we're getting milk in the pool here. Okay, and that's where this store's journey ends. You're wondering why it ends there? Because missing no rerolls re my build every, uh, it rerolls the build every single time we go to a new floor, which we've exhausted a lot of items here. Okay, we got, was it? This is Caves 2, so we have, still have two more chances to get another store. So we're gonna get another store at some point. And when that happens, we'll, uh, we'll buy through again. There's always next floor indeed. We've also removed our, uh, need for the Temperance card, which is legit. Uh, if you completely run out of items, it'll just everything will become breakfast, basically. It ain't that bad. All right, going down. Yeah, real well, we really needed those items, big time. Not even really sure how circle of protection works. If anybody knows, feel free to clue me in. I did not drop two of diamonds, but thank you. Good looking out. Sure. Why not, you betcha? Okay, there's Guppy. And a battery in here. Um, I'm gonna buy a dog food instead of Bob's brain. Loving it. Two of diamonds. 
There's Guppy. And Lord of the Flies. Dead Sea Trolls. Bum transformation? It should be, right? We got Key Bum, Regular Bum, and Dark Bum. Steven? Dude, this has been a sick item haul here. Setups have no limit in the Binding of Isaac, no. It's Dude, pretty sexy. Oh, Alright, Goathead's actually good here. Godhead! Do, 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 do. Abel in the house and fate that thing. Two of diamonds. Do, 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 do. Hey, Ma's wig's definitely good. There's the mark, sick. Range up, doesn't matter. Act, hell yeah. Like, I don't know, we have sad bombs yet. We have like every other bomb bomb effect. There's the spun transformation. Guppy's paw, forever helpful. And dad's key. And that's where we're gonna leave this amazing run. I'm gonna take dad's key with me so we can wreck Mega Stan again. But I think, I think, just maybe, we're gonna be okay here. You know. We might not have enough to win the run, guys, but I think it's gonna be okay. Cruzith, a little hand to you, friend. Welcome back to the Dapper, Cruzith. Appreciate the support. Much love. Yeah, we got homing tech one with Guppy and, it, I mean, insane damage. Mega Satan is screwed. I'm happy about that. Hey, a follower I don't have. Nice. Come with me, Gish. Try, baby. Sure, man. Join the party. Going down. This kitty, though. What are you doing, James? Overheated kitty. Uh, Wafer and Scapular, sure. Because <laughs> we needed the two best defensive items in the game to secure this one. Yeah, I'm not sure why I don't have Super Bum right now when I have, uh, I have the three bums. Must be because Dark Bum spawned, uh, off of Cambian Conception. It's the only thing I can think. Thanks, Gold Hell. Appreciate you being here. This game definitely is weird. And it's uh, it's a really nice roguelike. Is there four bums? I mean, Bumbo, but I don't think Bumbo is part of the dark bum transformation. But right now, of course, you're looking at a much better than average run. We broke the game, meaning we... It's kind of an intended part of this game, being able to break it. We found a very good combo that allows us to. Okay, fourth bum is the bomb bum. I know we've gotten these super bum achievement before. But yeah, as you can see, I didn't really know how that works. Who 
Who's the boss? Mama Gertie, you did. Don't want either of those. Or either of those. Nice try. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I guess I could have gotten a bomb bum to spawn. I've never seen one in this game, so that was my chance with the blank card, judgment card. Okay. Okay, that's what I thought, Blarbicus. So it's because I got the Dark Bum off of Cambian Conception, we don't have the Super Bum right now. Yes, yes, I will take Ease Mascara. I don't care if it slows down my tier rate. And Stopwatch, sure. Why not? Well, that happened. Uh, I guess Shielded Tears is pretty good here. Was she even alive? I'd say that's debatable. Thanks, key bum guy. Praise the sun, if only I could be so grossly incandescent. Alright, Mega Satan's gonna have a pretty bad time here, I'd say. And we're off. Wow, the liquefaction is frickin' real here.
GG. We got them. What's happening, Bobak? Keep it down. Seven Sin Pride, thank you for keeping it down for the five consecutive months. Okay, we started with uh, one Soul Heart, one Red Heart, good damage, good fire rate, and the blue hourglass. And spider bombs. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Interesting starting to that gives me hope I can get my um my my do donation machine uh loaded back up. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Okay, damage is not as good as it appears, duly noted. Do, do, do. Uh, that is the keeper on this overlord. Tier rate's good though. If that bad tier rate, would be in big trouble. Blue hourglass allows you to cheese up your uh, donation machine. That's about it. Have a great one, Gwitty, and take her easy. Like, I doubt we're getting anything as broken as the last run, but Blue Hourglass is nice. Also, if you have a really bad room, you can reset the room uh, back to the previous state by using the Blue Hourglass. So I'd say pretty much any time we get hit at this point, we can reset it back to normal. The pentagram under key stands for hard mode. Shiggity way. Um, no. Oh, okay. So we'll do that. Okay, we know that's a two of diamonds, so we know we want that card. Let's see if we can get a recharge before we do it again, just in case I do a dumb dumb and hit the spikes. Do, 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 do. Okay. So we can cheese up our uh, donation machine here, and I might as well get it back to top. Oh, Haunt, get out of here with your little ghost self. See if we remember how to do this. I would say Han's the most annoying boss, in my opinion. Do 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 do. Okay, we need to buy the uh, dapper. this thing. Then we need to uh, walk out of the room, walk back in the room, 
donate, pick up the hourglass, and then reset. Evil Blue Smiley, thank you for keeping a tap. Appreciate the eight consecutive months. Much love. So what this does, it makes it so the amount on your donation machine does not go down. Five at a time is actually not too bad here. But your room state stays the same. Honestly, five coins per donation is pretty generous for what it usually gives you. Won't take too long. Doo -doo. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, so the hourglass resets everything to the previous room state, so even using the two of diamonds won't help here. Uh, I probably should have used the two of diamonds uh, before buying the pill bottle, but we get to take it with us this way. Maybe. We'll see. Do, 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 do. Yeah, there you go, I style, nice. Do do What's happening, Salty Mike? How you doing, sir? Been a minute. Yeah, this is going nice and quick. We're gonna get up to about 950 or so. It's nice to be able to do maintenance on the donation machine because you you inevitably end up pulling money out of it. So this is just kind of standard maintenance to keep and keep it active so you can bomb it later. You never go to 9.99. Max you ever go to is about 9.80 for me. If you accidentally roll over the thousand coin, you have a bad time. Uh, Grody, we're still working on the Adams Family machine currently. Yeah, cheers, Salty Mike. Look forward to seeing you at TwitchCon as well. Do do do. If you roll over, a bunch of dimes drop on the ground, but your donation machine goes to zero, which then you cannot uh, pull donations out. You never go over 9.99. It resets to zero. Fair enough, Cheesy Bob, fair enough. I have never visited San Diego myself, but looking forward to it. Very excited for TwitchCon. I don't do uh, PAXs or other cons or events, but uh, TwitchCon I'm guaranteed to be at. Do, 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 do. Correct. The hourglass will unjam the machine without resetting the donation amount. So just doing a little maintenance, that's all.
Uh, I don't think the hourglass will reset from a rollover since it saves the donation amount. So I think if you roll over, you're just screwed. The benefit is you can bomb the machine to pull out coins, but when each time you bomb the machine, the amount goes down. So we're basically refilling it so we can bomb it on later runs. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Thanks, Blarb. All right, cool. That was pretty straightforward. I could buy the soul area, but I want to hold on to my money. Two more. All right, cool. That was pretty straightforward. I could buy the soul area, but I want to hold on to my money. For a multitude of reasons. No really good spot for the seeker room, so we're just going to pass on that. I don't know, Balls McGee. We're going to see how it times out. All right. Give me a key, though, huh? Oh, I used all my bombs to shenanigans. Okay, I need a bomb or a key. Or both. Might happen sooner than that, Amp. Let's not set a time on it. Ratsu, thank you for keeping it down. We appreciate the 25 consecutive months. Much love. God bless. Give me keys or bombs, though. One time, one time. CWF is cooking with frag. We've done a little over 50 cooking episodes over my four-ish year career here. We do one cooking segment per month currently. Tonight we're going to be doing bacon wrap stuffed meatloaf. Hey, nice Zara tool. Um, that is Epic Fetus. Epic Fetus is so boring. We're gonna we're gonna poke around and see what's up. What's up, Cat on Mars? One thing we can use the blue hourglass for here is we can check inside of our spike room and see if we want anything, then we can just blue hourglass out if it's a bad one. And there we go. Do 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 do. Do 
Wow, four dark rocks. It's like that, that epic fetus is calling my name. I'm not going to take epic fetus here, even though it's a great item. I'd rather have a run where I have to work for it than just completely crush it. anything and everything. But hoping another bomb drops here. We'll see. Chances are one of the Dark Rocks will drop a bomb too, but you just never know. No key. You know, I'm not sure the answer to that one, Saboose. I think yes, though. I think you can check pills with the blue hourglass. Uh, the epic fetus allows you to do, like, uh, instead of tears, you drop missiles from the sky. It's incredibly overpowered. And a great item for speedrunning. But for normal runs, it makes the rest of your run pretty much a snooze fest. And yes, I can reroll epic fetus. It's true. Blood clot and... See, that makes me really happy I didn't take, uh, I didn't end up taking Epic Fetus. So now we have one of the best items in the game. I think with that, we don't actually need to re-roll, uh, Epic Fetus. I will check my bloody combat room over here, though. Do 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 Bomb and a key, you don't say. Alright, we'll check our uh, store on the way back. If our store is bad, we can just blue hourglass out and get our key back. If you reroll Epic Fetus, can you Hourglass out to get your money back? I guess I could. I could also... Okay, this is this is nice. I could Hourglass out to get a uh, bomb back as well. Okay, multiple bombs and a rechargeable bomb. None whatsoever, Bob. Zero interest in speedrunning this game, though I do enjoy watching speedruns of this game. These are good. A little far on that one. But we only have two bombs and there's still two dark rocks left or one dark rock left on this floor. We'll check with this. All right, I'll take that. It's not very good, but it's one out of three uh, Lord of the Flies. Fair enough. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Oh yeah. Certainly going to take that. Great item. Basically doubles all drops from chests. Pretty good. Not a bad start. A little lower on health than I'd like, but Ma the Void should make up for that over time. Could you have blue hourglass that room to get your bomb and key back? Yeah, you can only get one back. Do, 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 do. I'm trying to kill with Meyer to see if I can get Black Hearts to spawn. It's not happening so far. One day. Do, do, do. 
There's one. What a nice little feller. This is why Ma of the Void is one of the best items in the game. So much heart generation and also does massive damage. It's a win, win, win. Do, do, do. Hello, Oma TV. How are you? Pretty good. Is Curse of the Labyrinth or something? No, Curse of the Maze. Joy. Joy. Um, let's check out the boss store then. Actually, we should try to get some more health before we do that, just in case. Dr. Pineapple Boy, thank you for keeping it down. I appreciate the 28 consecutive months. Much love. Too Funky Fresh, thank you for keeping it down. I appreciate the five consecutive months, sir. Much love. Yeah, it likes to do that, Bob. Likes to do that for sure. Much love, guys. Thank you all for the uh, support, whether you uh, just watch, subscribe, use affiliate programs, however you choose to support my content. I greatly appreciate it. It takes a lot of people to make this channel full-time. It's been an amazing four years and almost four and a half years of doing this. It's a beautiful thing. Be like, I don't say thanks enough, but I appreciate it every day. Purity, okay. I was gonna take that. I mean, it's not even really a loss. Not a gain, not a loss either, though. I know, man, it is a journey. It's crazy to think I've been doing this for that long. Really doesn't feel like that long, but it is. It emanates purity. What? Juke and Anna jive in that guy was. Do do do. Do 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 do. That is correct, Bob. That's exactly how it works. You don't pay anything extra. You just do your normal shopping on Amazon, and I receive a small portion of each purchase. We're talking minute portion, but uh, it adds up over a lot of people doing it. It is a great and free way to support the content. And see how all the fees are broken down right here. At the end of the day, it's as simple as buying anything on Amazon. Sports the content. Simple, simple. All right, so we're gonna bomb here. If we don't get anything we want, so I'm just gonna pull the room back. Leo, no thanks. Serpent's Kiss is quite good. That's even more Blackheart spawning potential, and since Ma the Void, I believe, also adds in the poison damage from that, we should be getting just a ton of Blackheart spawned. How fortuitous. Yep, that is Ma the Void. It's one of the best items in Afterbirth, for sure. It's a good one. Ah. 
Oh, don't touch him. He's yucky and smells bad. Okay, we'll take that for the devil deal. Well then. This makes the most sense, followed by this. And now we have flying and insane tier rate, fire rate, and otherwise great damage. Means we can go back and get this trolley, uh, trolley thing on the island here. Noise. Do, 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 do. My god! Okay. This actually isn't as bad as it may seem. Although it did greatly reduce my Maw of the Void damage. I was gonna say something not as nice, Ashley, but you're good. Oh, I could have, I could have blew hourglass it away. That's true. That's okay. We got a good, a good build for soy milk. We'll make it work. I actually don't mind soy milk as an item. It just isn't the best. My damage is actually very good, and the reason I was going to say Soy Milk's actually okay here is that uh, with the amount of tears coming out, we're going to have uh, basically poison damage on most things, and each time something dies from poison damage with this build, we have a chance of spawning a black heart. Lots of black hearts available now. Cow in space, thank you for keeping it dapper. Appreciate the four consecutive months. Much love. This is still a pretty solid build. Ma the Void definitely makes it a lot more bearable than it would be otherwise. Soy Milk does reduce poison damage, but it's still there. Like I said, I'd rather have the struggle than have Epic Fetus. Here we are. You know what? I'd say chaos is pretty acceptable there. I mean, the damage may not be great, but it's not bad either. Soy Epic Fetus wouldn't have been great. It would just lower the damage of Epic Fetus, so it would fire very quickly. Jesus, juice. Book of Revelations, okay. Contract from below, I'll accept that. Haven't seen item room yet here. Oh yeah, we did. It was soy milk. Yeah, your bombs would probably come down pretty darn fast in that case. What's up, brown bear in a cave? What a name, what a player. How you doing, sir? Contract doubles uh, drops. So like if a chest is gonna drop, two chests drop instead. The price is sometimes you'll run into double boss rooms. <laughs> Give me that.
do 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 That's a good baby kitty. Yes, I did use bigger revs. Pretty sure I did anyways. Yay! Okay, let's go in here. Let's eat this pill. Party. The bloody paper is the pack that is plus two fire rate, which is nullified by having soy milk, and then uh, plus one damage as well. Oof. Thank you, game. Nice. I think it's maybe one occasion where soy milk's actually going to work out uh, a okay. I'm going to leave that on the ground just in case, huh? Yeah, buddy Topes is coming to uh, Expo and PS4. Keep it dapper. I'm really honestly surprised it took him so long to get Afterbirth on there. But hey, I know you have to jump through a lot of hoops as a developer to get uh, stuff done on consoles. Balfog, thank you for keeping it dapper. Appreciate the 12 consecutive months, sir. Much love. Much love. Yeah, they're working on. Um, they're working on Afterbirth Plus. I know that. Boom, boom. Golden key. Nice. Uh, brown bear in a cave. Okay, so that was a champion type NPC. So you'll notice that some enemies will be bigger or have a different color to them. The different color corresponds to a different ability. Like if they're dark red, they're going to drop into a pile of meat and then be able to regenerate or uh, gray ones will sometimes drop keys, green ones leave uh, creep trails behind, so on and so forth. Like this red one right here is likely to drop a heart since he, uh, well he didn't, but that was his champion ability. Champion enemies will do one full heart of damage instead of one half, and they'll usually drop something extra or have a chance to. Depths one or depths two? Depths one, all right. Oh, it's Brownie! Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. So here's a room where you can see how effective uh, Serpent's Kiss Ma the Void is. All them black arts. Suck a lemon, Brownie. Okay, that speed up's actually quite helpful for me. All right, guys, we've been streaming for two and a half hours. We took our food break early, about an hour in, because we're doing Cooking with Frag later. But I'm going to run my first set of ads tonight, two and a half hours in. If you allow ads to play on my channel, I greatly appreciate it. If you do not, I still very much appreciate your time here. However, if you'd like to support me and my content further, please do consider bookmarking the Amazon affiliate page. If you do any shopping on Amazon.com, you can't be supporting me and my content at no additional cost to yourself. Just enter through that link, do your normal shopping. It's that simple. Be back shortly.
right. We be back. Thank you for your patience. I appreciate it. Do 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 Take that, rebel scum. This is actually, I'm gonna say, one of the best base soy build milk or soy milk builds I've had. It's pretty darn good. This looks like a secret room location. And it was. Renegade Pancake, thank you for keeping it damper. Appreciate the 10 consecutive months, dude. Much love, man. Much love. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, I'll bite here. Yeah, the Maw of the Void damage is greatly decreased for having picked up Soy Milk, but it's still really good. <laughs> Alright, we're off. The Depths 2. Yeah, let's check it out. What's in here? Greetums. Permit card? Okay, what's in here? Yeah, I'll take that. Blammo! Get blammo. Yes, Polly would greatly increase my damage indeed. Polly would be very nice. Any damage multiplier right now would be more than welcome. Cricket's head. Polly, so on and so forth. Would all be very good. The previous floor is called Caves or Catacombs, depending on uh, what you get. Sucks to be you, Lost. Sorry. Uh, I don't think the hourglass does anything if you went to the next floor. It just resets you back into the starting room. The Hierophant. Cheers, Sonori. I don't know. I've been I've been trying to watch. Um, been trying to watch Dark Souls three streams. I just every time I've tried to over the past like week. It's just <laughs> somebody getting upset about backseat gaming every time. It's nothing, nothing against any individual broadcaster. It's just as somebody trying to watch, find a Dark Souls stream to watch. It's been frustrating for me that every time I go into a stream, somebody's getting upset about backseat gaming. But hey, man, I've been there. I had a super strict backseat gaming policy like forever, like over two years. Yeah, sure. That's a damage up. Fear shot too, which isn't great, but. Well, not even just like yelling at Chad, but like, like, uh, I don't know. 
When the broadcaster is upset, it definitely puts a different tone into the into the show. And no, do not start naming names of people in my chat. That's very disrespectful. Don't do it. At the end of the day, each broadcaster has the choice on how they want to run their channel or their chat. It's up to you whether you want to watch or not. Okay, all covering cards. It's an interesting question, and no, I don't really mind, but there's a difference between going, I've been really enjoying watching uh, this person, and then, or coming into my chat and saying, hey, go watch this person while they're alive. There's a big difference there. But if you're enjoying somebody's content, you, by all means, you're welcome to say something positive about them. Just know, like, you know the difference between aggressive promotion and giving somebody a compliment. Yes, I'm sorry that we have uh, four subs over four years now. The Hierophant. The Hierophant. I shouldn't have used that yet, but I did. But let me say this. The day I decided to let go of my backseat gaming policy and have a more uh, lax policy on that was... I would say the best decision I ever made for my broadcast. The best. Yeah, Peeve's great. Peeve's a good guy. Known Peeve for a long time. All right, well, uh, I guess that's about as good as that's gonna go. Let's go. Do, 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 do. Haven't watched a German spy. I'll give it a look. Really? Why? Because having a strict backseat gaming policy, uh, I actually I thought about this even further in depth. Uh, you may know they took about a week off in January because I was struggling with depression. I started seeking Keep it seeking help for that. And uh, one of the things me and my uh, my support have talked about is distortions that you make for yourself inside of your mind. So like. A standard distortion could be seeing everything positively when it's not, or the opposite, or convincing yourself of something that's not really true. And I think that really does apply to backseat gaming. You can't expect not to have hints, tips, or spoilers if you're broadcasting a live game, because you're dealing with a random internet chat room. Anybody can come in your chat and say anything. So having the expectation that people should just get it uh, and not backseat game you is really asking for frustration and it's a distortion i believe that you put on yourself that you deserve not to be backseat gamed but at the same time you're putting yourself into a situation where you're going to be backseat gamed it's not if it happens it's when it's going to happen because you're dealing with a large group of people coming into a room where they can say anything they want so by putting yourself in that situation, you've basically given up your right to not be backseat game because you put yourself in front of a live internet chat room. So like, does that make sense? You've distorted yourself into thinking what you deserve is what's actually going to happen. But if you think about all the things across your life, uh, how often does what you deserve and what the actual reality is line up? Almost never. When I worked in kitchens, did I deserve to be paid more than the guy that showed up hungover every day and smoked weed on the line? Yeah, I deserved to be paid more than that guy. But I didn't, because that was the reality of it. I don't like or dislike backseat gaming, I just think it's inevitable. Nobody likes being backseat gamed, but it's a lot easier to accept help and suggestions than it is to say you can't do that because people are going to do it anyways. So I just started looking at it differently. Do I like being backseat game? Not really. 
But is it the end of the world? No. And also having open game discussion, I believe, helps people uh, that are watching you learn the game better, too, which is nice. Yes, cognitive distortions are incredibly hard to actually realize when they're happening. And Lord knows I've had my fair share of cognitive distortions, so I'm not saying I'm better than anybody else. Because I'm certainly not. I just have a much different perspective now, having done this for almost five years than I did when I started. Ooh, Yera Rune. Okay, we got a double spawn here, so let's yeah. use one, then we can use a Joker card and have another Joker card to use. Hell yes, I would like double damage. I would love double damage. Uh, Mask Infamy, we're going to pass on, though. Yeah, I was using the Maw a lot more, but the problem is I have, uh, I guess my damage is slightly better now. It, when, once I picked up Soy Milk, Maw was just not as effective. Oops. What's up, Bob Griffin? Is there not a black heart in here? Where is it? Oh, it's underneath the other heart. Sneaky, sneaky. Maybe I'll take Yera instead. That gives us two, uh, eight chests inside of the chest. Which could give me Polly or some other really great item. Yeah, for sure, Clock Radio. Uh, I've struggled with depression my whole life. I put off getting professional help for a long time, and I greatly regret that. And I'll say, if you are struggling with depression, there's absolutely nothing wrong with talking to somebody. Swallow your pride and just do it, because having somebody else's perspective on your problems can greatly change your perception on them. It's the smart thing to do. I think guys, guys especially, have a very hard time doing that. Because you think you should be able to do it yourself, and you're you're big enough and strong enough. But uh, everybody everybody suffers sometimes. There's nothing wrong with admitting it. Absolutely slighted. Um, because when I had a really strict backseat gaming policy, anytime I'd play a puzzle game or a hard game, uh, my mood was greatly affected by feeling like I shouldn't have to deal with backseat gaming and having to time people out, and the mods getting upset, and the chat getting upset, and calling people out, so on and so forth. Uh, in my opinion, having that strict policy was a real detriment to my content. The boss bloats! Bloaty McBloatums is getting wrecked. Oh, this is an XL floor. Well, neat. I could reset the fight here, but I think two hits is appropriately okay. What's in here? Oh, we already saw that. Whoa. Unfortunate waste of a key there. I guess I could have used the blue hourglass, but I didn't. 
I did not get coal with the soy milk, unfortunately. That would have been nice. I think we're going to stick with Hiera here, though. <laughs> Definitely Jive Cat. Definitely. I don't know, the chest could be kind of sketchy here, but I think we'll be okay. Oh, Ma, the Void wasn't active. Sheezel, there it goes. Uh, we may blew Hourglass out of this one. I think we're going to. Well, that just dropped a, two black hearts. Never mind. Everything's working as intended. I don't think there's any right or wrong way to run your broadcast. Honestly, double pointer. There's so many different people to get success doing a wide variety of things. I don't think you can really say what's right or wrong. Like, entertainment's not something that you can just say has a pure definition. Different people like different things, and that's what makes the world go round. I just reread your question. I misread what you said. Um, honestly, criticism isn't that big of a deal, or I'm sure it is for some people, but if you put yourself out there, you're going to get criticized in some way, shape, or form. People won't like what you do, the games you play, the way you talk, the way you look. But I will say this. If you do take time out of your life to broadcast, you have absolutely nothing to be ashamed or sorry for or feel bad about because you're putting yourself out there is more than most people will do. Double pointer, thank you for keeping it down. Or sorry, little hand to you, friend. Welcome to the damper. Much love. I want to say that's a welcome back. I don't know, though. Like, I received a lot, 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 lot of criticism for doing the two-year livestream challenge. A lot of people told me I would ruin my life or I was being irresponsible or whatever, get a real job. All, the, all those things. You know, hundreds of people. Thousands? But at the end of the day, I finished the two-year livestream challenge. And I, I will not lie and say they did not feel good to accomplish that as a, somewhat of an I told you so. But if you, if you broadcast it all, you're going to be criticized for something every single day. It's all a matter how you handle it. Technobrat, thank you for keeping it dapper. Appreciate the 11 consecutive months. Much love. What was the challenge? We live stream every day from January 5th, 2012 to January 6th, 2014. As part of the two year live stream challenge where we tried to make uh, this right here our full time employment, we got there. We've since been inducted to the Twitch TV Hall of Fame for that accomplishment. What's up, Keltai? Stream for 731 consecutive days with an average of seven hours per night. Oh, damage. Where'd you go? Where'd the damage go? Sure, good looking, Lewis. But as we were just talking about cognitive distortions, it's very easy to convince yourself that you can make everybody happy. It's a lot easier than you might think. I think cognitive distortions are the devil that uh, pretty much every broadcaster deals with. So easy to convince yourself of things that aren't true or aren't reasonable. Uh, 
uh, Jason here, I gained about 55, 60 pounds during the challenge, so I guess I would call that a side effect. Uh, Birdbrain, when I started the two-year livestream challenge, I had about seven consecutive viewers. Dear God. Maybe I want to reset this fight? Maybe. Maybe not. Eh, maybe not. I don't know. I know I can do better than this, though. All right, that's too much damage. Let's go back. Let's bring it back here. I guess we have a lot of hearts in here, so we'll just use a lot of bombs. Make it work. So this Jukin and a Jai. When phase two starts, we're going to start aggressively bombing, I feel. Oof. Yay! Very good. Uh, this is a game-breaking bug. It can uh, cause status effects or uh, other problems for enemies. It can also reroll some items when it rolls over them, not pedestal items. Yeah, I had saved up the dive count. I had basically saved as much as I could the entire time I worked in kitchens. And I felt the tier challenge was my best opportunity. So I took it. But I would not have been able to do the challenge, one without savings and two without the support of my family. So God bless them for supporting me. That worked out okay. Let's go get the black hearts back here. Back to full. All right, we got 10 keys, so we're going to get the eight items in the chest. Nice. Maybe some good damage stuff. Okay. Fear of destiny. Yeah, so it was a self-driven challenge. If I took that on somebody else's behalf, I'd be the stupidest person in the world. Touch the knife! Touch it! Give me that. That looks pretty cool with Ma the Void. Cheers, Jive Cat. Cheers, dude. I'm glad I made it, too. I'm also glad that my life is much less stressful than it was then. Oh, Red Ma, you are my least favorite boss. Yeah, the double circle does look pretty awesome. I'm not exactly sure what the circle of protection actually does. I would say worse than green bloat by far. If you have a bad build, you can at least deal with green bloat, but uh, red mob... He ain't playing around. Well, there's all the hearts we're going to need for this floor. Like, we're looking pretty good.
I would imagine that luck does affect Ma the uh, Void Drops, but I can't say for 100% certain whether it does or not. I would imagine so. Oh, look at the little baby tears. Where's your mummy? Fair enough. I mean, we gotta assume it's through here. Alright, one of my least fancy rooms. Uh, good looking, Lewis. It does contact damage, and if it runs over the stuff like that coin, it has a chance to reroll it. Also causes status effects on enemies. Not my best clear, but look at look at that sustain we have with the heart spawns. Uh, I am triggering the black circle by holding down my fire until the cross shows up in my head. The white circle I have no control over. Okay, we'll step back out because we know that's not uh, where our boss is. Clear chest, then. Sure. Sick guitar riffs. Oh my goodness. Keltai, thank you for the 13 consecutive months. And Annihilate, thank you for the 8 consecutive months. My apologies, guys. I missed you when I went off that little tangent. My dang. That's fine. I haven't been playing Hearthstone, no, Bombays. I haven't decided yet if I want to invest in the new expansion or not. I'm not sure I'm going to play enough to justify it. Gotta wiggle the knife. Cuts so good. Alright, I mean, my boss has to be up this way, right? It must. I'm not sure I'd be the best candidate for that, Merpin. Oh. 
like you can't really interview for becoming a broadcaster I don't feel like I can't give you any advice on how to get started or what it takes to be in the business and stuff like that I did I did one of those for somebody before and it was like really hard to answer the questions I didn't have answers to like <laughs> half the interview segments or half the interview questions Winston family show Cool indigo jar glad you enjoyed enjoy gungeon sir and cool you found it because of the stream do, 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 do. What's happening smug sub el nub nub what a hallway this is. All right, here we go. The shots might not be doing much damage, but the bombs are making work. Actually, I guess the, the Spear of Destiny is what's doing it. GG. What a run. G G. All right, guys. Tell you what, we're gonna set up for cooking with Frag now. The stream will be offline for a few moments while we go get set up and I get changed into my chef jacket. I am beyond exhausted today, but to make up for it, I'm gonna do a I think Super Meat Boy cast now. We'll do another FTL run. I've been doing a shorter cast on Saturdays and it's been working out pretty well. But I am I am diddly darn exhausted. And I want to I don't want to be doing cooking with frag while I'm just completely haggard. So let's go. Let's go do cooking with frag bacon wrap stuffed meatloaf. And Weedabix, thank you for the 23 consecutive months. Much love. So the stream will be going offline and coming back online in about 10 minutes and we'll be doing our cooking with frag segment for the month of April. We'll see you guys in just a moment. <laughs> 